What should I do if I have a broken bracket? So that's one of the biggest questions that orthodontic patients have. So broken brackets, sometimes called loose brackets or floating brackets, happen a lot of the time with braces, and it's something that almost every patient will experience. So in this video, we'll discuss everything you need to know about broken brackets, as well as how to manage them. So let's get started. So what does a broken bracket look like? You'll have an easy time picking out a broken bracket. The bracket will no longer be attached to your tooth. It'll move or slide along the arch wire. And sometimes the bracket might even spin around as well. So a broken bracket most commonly stays on the arch wire and slides around. But if one of the brackets in the back is broken off, it may slide off the arch wire and may end up in the back of your mouth. Now there's no need to worry if this happens, just take the bracket out of your mouth. If you happen to swallow the bracket, that's okay too, it happens. So what actually causes a broken bracket? There are many reasons why a bracket might break. Sometimes it's the result of how you are taking care of your braces, and other times it's the result of a failure of the bonding process at the orthodontic office. Here's a few ways that the person wearing braces might cause a bracket to break. Repeatedly biting into food that is too hard, crunchy, or sticky, such as ice, chips, pretzels, or Laffy Taffy. Also grinding your teeth at night and putting too much pressure on your braces will cause them to break. If you get hit in the mouth while playing contact sports or any other physical activity, or just playing around with your brackets too often. Also having a deep bite that causes your top teeth to bite down on top of the lower brackets can cause a bracket to break or come loose. So if none of those items apply to you, it's possible that broken bracket was caused by something that happened during the bonding process at the orthodontic office. So here are a few things that could cause a weaker bond of the braces during the bracket bonding process. So if the teeth get wet during the bonding process, this can cause a bracket to break. Any amount of saliva on the teeth can weaken the bond, and sometimes it can be difficult to keep the, all the teeth dry during the bonding process. Also, if the teeth weren't totally clean during the bonding process, and any amount of plaque, food, or tartar on the teeth can weaken the bond of the braces. So orthodontists generally clean the teeth off prior to bonding the braces, but there are times when one of the teeth may not be cleaned sufficiently. Also, the brackets getting bumped or moved during the bonding process can weaken the bond. So this is especially common with young children who have a hard time sitting still. And if the braces are bumped or shifted while bonding, it can weaken the bond of the bracket. So as you can see, there are lots of factors behind a broken bracket, but no matter what caused it, know that it's okay. So broken brackets are not a big deal and they are not an emergency. Almost every orthodontic patient has at least one broken bracket during their treatment. And orthodontists are used to fixing brackets for their patients. So if you or your child has a broken bracket, don't stress. So does a broken bracket hurt? Generally speaking, a broken bracket doesn't hurt. It might feel a bit annoying as it slides around on the wire, but usually there's not too much discomfort with it. If one of the brackets on the back teeth breaks, it may expose the end of the arch wire. So this poking arch wire can cause discomfort and may irritate the cheek. So what should you do if you have a broken bracket? If you have a broken bracket, there are some remedies you can try at home to make it feel better and eliminate any discomfort. If a bracket is sliding around, simply place some wax over top of the bracket and secure it to the tooth. This should prevent the bracket from moving and eliminate any annoyance or discomfort. If you have a poking arch wire from one of the back brackets coming off, you can try to cut the long wire using some fingernail clippers. This method works best with a small arch wire. And if you aren't able to cut the arch wire yourself, you can place a small ball of orthodontic wax over top of the wire to keep it from poking your cheek. So the best way to get orthodontic wax to stick is to first dry the area off with the tissue and then apply the wax. If the wax doesn't stick, you can also place sugar-free gum over top of the bracket or wire to eliminate the discomfort. So how long can you go with a broken bracket? If you have a broken bracket and it's not causing any discomfort, there's not an urgent need to get it fixed. You can usually wait several days or even weeks to have it repaired without any negative effects on your treatment. So if you are having discomfort or are concerned about the bracket, you should contact your orthodontic office. So most orthodontic offices will set aside appointments during the day for bracket repairs and can get you in to have your bracket repaired within a few days. So having a broken bracket isn't an emergency and it doesn't have to be fixed that exact same day. Using wax or sugar-free gum can eliminate discomfort until you are able to get an appointment. So how does an orthodontist actually fix a broken bracket? Fixing broken brackets is not something you can do on your own. And even though it's not urgent, you will need to visit the orthodontic office. Usually a broken bracket appointment is a quick and simple process. Here's what generally happens at your bracket repair appointment. The bracket is removed from the arch wire and it's then cleaned and sanitized. The tooth surface is polished and any bracket adhesive is removed. The tooth is then prepared for orthodontic bonding. And this is the same process that was used when the braces were first put on. The bracket is bonded to the tooth and then the arch wire is reactivated. So the entire repair process usually takes about five to 10 minutes. And some patients are curious if orthodontists charge for broken brackets. 
So every orthodontist is different and will decide on their own fees. At Premier Orthodontics, we generally do not charge for broken brackets. We understand that broken brackets happen. We plan on these visits as part of the braces process. So the only time that we might consider charging for broken brackets is if the number of broken brackets is getting out of hand. So for example, if you or your child is continuing to eat hard, crunchy, and sticky foods despite being told not to and causing five or more broken brackets at a time, then we may notify you that a fee will be charged next time. So luckily this almost never happens. So if you follow your orthodontist instructions about braces, then you shouldn't experience broken brackets too often. So what can you do to avoid broken brackets? If you are in braces, the easiest way to avoid broken brackets is to avoid hard, crunchy, and sticky foods, avoid fidgeting with your brackets or wires, avoid biting pens, pencils, or other hard objects, wear a mouth guard while playing sports, and let your orthodontist know if you find yourself biting onto your bottom braces. If you have any questions about broken brackets, feel free to ask them in the comments section below and we'll do our best to answer. And if you found this information helpful, please help us out and give this video a like. Also, if you'd like to get notified when we release new braces and Invisalign related videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell. If you're living in the Phoenix, Arizona area and you're considering getting braces or Invisalign for you or your child, we'd love to see you for a 100% free consultation. At this consultation appointment, we'll discuss your treatment options and answer any other questions you may have. Thank you so much and we'll talk to you soon.